Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, today, today. Today is just gonna be kind of a chill video. We're just gonna be hanging out. I'm gonna be sharing some updates with you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions on keto. Am I still on keto? How's that going? Also, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of my backyard. So I wanted to share more progress instead of just waiting till like it's done. You know how you like, oh, I just wanna wait till it's done, like decorating a room or whatever, but you're never actually done. You always wanna change one more thing. I decided to share more progress stuff for the backyard. So I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough today showing you guys where we're at right now. This is before we've poured any concrete or anything. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the finishes that we've already picked out. And then another exciting update that I literally just heard about right before I sat down to start filming is a, a possible foster puppy that I think we're gonna be fostering another dog. So I'm really, really excited. First things first, first things first is uh, my hair stopped falling out. Yay, finally. It was falling out for a few weeks straight, actually, like a lot. And I don't know if it was because there's so, there's literally like a list this long of things that it could be. That's what kind of sucks with like breaking out hair loss, things like that. It's like, oh, it's stress and hormones. Automatic response to everything. So I don't know what it was, but it has stopped. So I'm happy. But anyway, I don't know what to do with my hair. It's like, do I cut it? Do I let it grow? It's at a weird length right now. This is like, this is a weird length moment for me. So what do you guys think I should do with my hair? Cut it short again or like, you know, leave it here or let it grow a little bit. I'm not really sure what direction I should go in. The first thing that I wanted to update you guys on, cause I've been getting a lot of questions about it and kind of like, where are you at? What's going on with keto? Like the keto diet, keto lifestyle. Am I still doing it? I haven't really talked about it lately. So I know I was doing like more videos on keto, but what happened was I got really discouraged after the last video that I posted, which was how I eat keto when I travel. I posted that video because I felt like I wanted to share like the actual struggles of traveling and trying to eat healthy or a certain type of way while traveling. I got a lot of feedback that I felt not so good about. I don't know, I just, I felt like the feedback that I got on that video was discouraging and it made me, I was like, after I posted that, I was like, you know what, I'm not posting, I'm not talking about anything about keto for like a few weeks. So that's why I haven't really talked about it a lot lately. It was just, I felt really, honestly, honestly, I just felt really down after I did that video. Yeah, so I didn't really post any videos on it and then I've had some moments. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been on keto for about six months now. I've probably, I can count on like one hand, maybe one and a half hands, how many times I've like branched off of a full ketogenic diet. It's not a ton of times, but I have branched off. And when I say branched off, I mean I've had donuts, which is so, that's probably like the absolute worst thing that you could have, <laughs> like the worst possible thing. It's like carbs, it's bread wrapped in sugar basically, and then fried. So, you know what's funny about that is that I didn't even like donuts before I started keto. I didn't like desserts that much and then here I am. I feel like for the past month, I've had so many nerves and a lot of anxiety just about the collection with Dose of Colors launching. Just a lot of excitement. It's a lot of good stuff, but at the same time, like I had a lot of nerves. So I was doing some emotional eating. I definitely had my moments with donuts and I knew that I wasn't in a mental place to be going 100% all the time. So I kind of let myself have that like, break where I wasn't eating really bad food all day long every single day, but I did have a few moments here and there where I was kind of, you know, living my life is what I'm calling it. So I'm still doing keto, but it hasn't been as 100 as I was when I first started, which even going back to that and I think about, I remember filming my video and then filming my video with Shayla on like the Q and A for keto. I didn't, literally did not have any type of cheat food for like two full months when I did that. And I'm, I'm like, oh my God. How did I do that? <laughs> I literally look at myself and think, wow, I was in such a good like mental space there where I could focus on that really, really hardcore. And I know the past like four to six weeks, I wasn't there mentally. So that's why I'm not pushing myself. I'm not beating myself up over it, but I'm now getting back into like the, okay, I feel like I have a little bit more mental energy to focus on that now. I know the past four to six weeks, I haven't been in a losing weight place. I've been in like a maintain kind of place. I know I've been kind of like flatlining. So I know that I'm okay with it. And now I'm starting to kind of get back into the place of like, all right, I'm ready to do this. Boom, 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 let's roll. I know because I started working out a lot harder. And usually if I work out that much harder, it's cause I know I'm trying to like fix my diet. And then it clicks to me like, wait a second, 
you gotta fix your diet before you start working out harder kind of thing. So that's kind of how keto has been going for me. I just wanted to share with you guys, yes, I'm still doing it. What else is there? I did go get blood work done also because I was getting a lot of feedback saying that my cholesterol was gonna be horrible and like, you know, I was gonna die from bad cholesterol. So I was like, you know what? Let me go get some blood work done. Let me just get everything. I got everything checked out. I said, whatever you can test me for, test me for, check it, I wanna know. And everything came back like low, normal, good, healthy cholesterol, everything was great. So I was really relieved to hear that. Although I do wish that I got blood work checked before I started, but I know, like I know that I am eating way better than I did before. Like there's no way that things could have gotten worse. You know what I mean? I actually eat a lot less meat than I used to, which is interesting. I know a lot of people think otherwise, but I eat way less meat than I used to before I started keto. I eat a lot more plant-based foods. I even eat that little bird, I call it the bird bowl thing that I got from Shayla that's like hemp seed, chia seed, and like um, just raw vegan. That is vegan, not everything I eat is vegan, but that's a vegan thing that I eat sometimes instead of lunch. I eat a lot less animal products and everything that I used to. So that's something interesting. And I just, I was relieved to see that blood work came back really well, really great. He actually told me I don't even need to take any supplements. So I was taking so many supplements before, but that was also with my holistic doctor, which is like a whole, whole other situation, okay. That also stopped in case anybody was wondering. Next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is our backyard. So I'm actually gonna be doing a walkthrough with you in our backyard as it currently is right now and showing you some different finishes, getting your opinion on some different finishes that we've picked out. If you guys don't know, I'll just you know let you know right now. Our backyard has a lot of hillside, very steep, very upright, holds up a lot of dirt. So we have a lot of retaining walls back there. Um, they needed a makeover. They're ugly. They were just like pink brick. My whole backyard was just like, just dirt for the past year. Just so much dirt. So this, it's been killing me like waiting for us to start this project. But now that it's here, I'm just so relieved and I can't wait to see what it's gonna turn into. But anyway, the retaining wall got a massive makeover. We're gonna do a white stucco finish on the concrete wall. So it's gonna be like really bright. There's gonna be, there's gonna be so much bounce in that backyard, you guys. Like so much bounce, I can't wait just be out there. I'm not gonna be able to see because it's gonna be so bright, okay? That's what I'm ready for. I'm ready for it. Give it to me, I'm ready. All right, you guys, so here is the backyard in current state. It's all dirt. There's no concrete back here on the ground. It's all dirt. Zoe loves it, see? Give it to me. What is it? What is it? Turb loves it. This is our outdoor kitchen that we're currently building. So we're doing two nine foot islands. Here is gonna be a grill and a griddle. I don't know if that's like super common or not, but I feel like that is a style of cooking that John and I would really, really love. Kind of like teppanyaki style. I feel like cooking seafood out there, like shrimp, scallops, and veggies. I just feel like that's gonna be something that we have so much fun with cooking outside on an outdoor griddle. You can cook breakfast out there. Like you could literally cook every single meal on a griddle. I just can't wait for this outdoor kitchen space. All the framing is in for it right now. As you can see, there's a lot of rebar because we're doing a poured concrete countertop and then it's gonna waterfall over the sides, which I'm pretty excited about, a little waterfall action. This big dirt area here, we're just gonna have this open patio area. We got the stools there. Honestly, we're probably gonna be here 99% of the time. Casual eating. Might do like a little low table and chairs here, you know? Extended casual eating. Um, and then we're also gonna be doing, in between the concrete pads, like um, we thought about doing grass, but it's probably gonna be pebbles, like medium-sized pebbles in between the concrete pads just to kind of break it up a little bit. We already ordered stuff for the fencing. We're gonna be doing Ipe wood, which is a very, very hard wood. I really wanted like a clear cedar. I don't like really red looking wood or like deep wood colors. I really like light, bright, kind of natural, almost like more farmhousey looking woods. But cedar is really, really expensive and it also doesn't last as long and it's a lot more high maintenance. Now I'm gonna show you guys the tile that we picked out. It's funny, cause when I see it like this, I'm like, oh shit, that's really clear tile. Are you worried about this? So we went to the tile store and I, I got a bunch of samples. I can show you guys some different pictures. I really like the look of like white shiny tile, like very iridescent where it kind of has different reflections to it. But that was like when it was like the coping, like the whole pool was covered in it. 
I realized that that wasn't gonna really work for what I have going on right now. So I found this tile and you can't tell right now because there's no white grout behind it, but in the sample, this with white grout behind it, it gave it like a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of texture without being super iridescent. Cause I noticed once I brought the samples back here, all the iridescent ones looked really green, like not a good green either. Kind of like the green of the pool right now, which is not really <laughs> what I'm going for. So this is gonna replace these two by two tiles in the pool right now, like so. It's gonna have bright white grout behind it. And then our coping that we're doing is also white. As you can tell, I really like bright colors. <laughs> I don't know what kind of landscaping to do up here what kind of plants something pretty i don't want it like too tropical and i only want white flowers i know up on the big hillside we're doing ice plant white ice plant because i want very uh low maintenance drought resistant type plants so if you guys know any good plants that are like that let me know please all right you guys and then back here this i feel like is still an unknown for us this used to be all bark so the concrete stopped here and this whole area was just like unusable there was no purpose for it no nothing so now we have this huge area back here where we're kind of like what do we do so any ideas trampoline and then on the other side behind my kitchen there's a small outdoor area back there as well we're gonna be putting in a small wood deck area and a little bit of like a garden area mixed with the concrete pads. So that way that's kind of like where we let the dogs out, but my kitchen faces it and I want it to look pretty still. So that's why we're doing like the wood deck, small seating area out there. So I am just getting really excited. I wanna show you guys, I wanna keep you guys updated on the progress that's happening instead of just waiting to do like a finish. This is everything. And then the last thing, which I literally found out right before I started filming this video, is we're about to go pick up, as soon as I'm done filming today, we're gonna go pick up a new foster puppy. And I don't know anything about her yet. I just saw her picture on Love Leo Rescue. Looks like a little cattle dog that got attacked in a shelter by another dog. Apparently there was a bunch of dogs in one kennel, overcrowded shelter, which is always really sad to hear. And she was just this poor little like 10 pound puppy. So I was like, you know what? Let's take this little kid in and she's just, I, I haven't met her yet. We're gonna go pick her up tonight, but I think she's about five months old right now. So I hope Zoe's ready, Zoe's walking away. So come here, come here Zoe. We're gonna go pick her up tonight and we're ha we'll have her until she's all healed and she can get adopted. But she looks like a little sweetheart. <coughs> oh. Are you barking at Turbo? It's been a minute since we fostered actually, but I know the last, the litter of pups that we had before, they're all doing really, really well. Um, we still follow them on Instagram and see their updates and everything. And it's crazy to see them all grown up now, Goose and Skunk and Peach, who are now Goose, Ellie and Penny. They look like they're doing really well. They're with amazing families. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with this new girl that we pick up and see how she blossoms. I'm so excited to meet her already. I'm like, oh my God. So that wraps up this video. If you guys have any specific video requests, things that you would like to see. I haven't done a vlog in a long time. Maybe vlogs will be coming soon, but keep me posted. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.